of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Then pealed the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail. With peace on earth, goodwill to men. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. I hope you enjoyed that, sweetheart. Anyways, thank you all for joining us today. Special edition of Cooking Rhetoric with Russ. Christmas edition. And you know, it's the month of December. Coming up on Christmas, nothing really warms the heart more than a nice warm bowl of chili. So, why don't we get started on that? Get my apron here. First thing we got going here is a couple pounds of ground beef. Got to get this uh, nice and browned up for you. All right, we got the um, ground beef, the two pounds of ground beef here. And I added uh, some salt and pepper, you know, seasoned it. Let it cook down to where all the fat is out of there so it's not all greasy and oily. Anyway, we're going to just dump this in to the crock pot over here. All right, got all the ground beef in there. And we're adding one large onion and four cloves of garlic. Chopped up pretty good. And... We're going to continue. Fanny, yes. Get you another beer. Absolutely, dear. I really appreciate that. What a wonderful wife I have. Oh, there we go. Thank you, sweetheart. My See? Pleasure. That is a great wife right there. Let's get back to cooking, though. Um, I'm going with four ounces of green chili. Dump that can in there. You know what? I'm getting an extra spoon out of here. Just in case I need to spoon this stuff out. It's one good thing about making chili. It's pretty easy. Two cans worth. This is one giant one. 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Dumping that in there. Or you can go with the two 14 ounce cans. Whatever you prefer. And 14 ounces of black beans. Make sure you drain the beans before you put them in here. Okay? You really want to use a lot of energy. We've got uh, garbanzo beans here too. They're drained. If you want to use a lot of energy though, you can get the real ones and soak them. They got to soak overnight. I mean, these are real beans, but I mean, you got to get the dried ones. Soak them overnight. A lot more energy is involved in that. Here we go with a little dash of Worcestershire. Always add a few dashes of that to almost everything. You'd be fine. And we got a right here. I already have it measured out right here. The spices. Got four tablespoons of chili powder. Two tablespoons of cornmeal. A teaspoon of sugar and there's also a teaspoon of cumin in there as well. Let's go ahead and dump that in there. And a half cup of beef broth. How about there. Now all you gotta do is put the lid on that crock pot. And you see the little setter, or timer here? Go ahead and hit the cook time. I'm sure everybody's crock pot's different. We're giving it 10 hours. You do this the uh, night before Sunday. And you'll be ready in the morning. You're going to be very pleased with yourself. Make sure you stir it a couple times before you go to bed. And uh, you'll be good. Alright, we're back here. Done with the chili. Sunday. Uh, it's been cooking all night. I had to add um, the rest of that uh, beef broth to the to the uh, crock pot as well, and a little bit of water. So I checked it early this morning because a lot of it'll cook down. Right here, I got a nice bowl served up. Put a little bit of cheese, shredded cheese, cheddar cheese, and then you can put sour cream if you prefer. But uh, I think it's time now 
to uh, sample this. Oh. Um, come on over here. Our guest here, Tom Bennett. Here, Tom, I got something that'll cheer you up, buddy. Why don't you try a little bit? Cheer me up. A little bit of chili. All right, I'll try. Just try it. I'll try it. All right. You know what? This is good. I'm feeling pretty good about this, man. Broncos are going to win. I like it. That is good. I'm glad you like it. Oh, yeah. See, they're they're going to win? Oh, yeah. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, joining me here on this Christmas edition of Cooking Rhetoric with Russ. Merry Christmas, everyone. Tannenbaum.